Well, for many, today's rain was simply a reminder of how dry things have been. It's changing attitudes about how we think about a resource that we once took for granted. And now as KPIX 5's John Ramos shows us, a new generation of buildings are coming to San Francisco that reimagine how water is used. This residential high rise in San Francisco is unique in that most of the water that goes into it never comes out and it's setting a standard for what will be the future of building construction in the city. On days like this, we're reminded of how important water is, how precious is each drop. So why are we willing to waste so much of it? There's no reason why we should be taking fresh water from Hetch Hetchy to flush our toilets in downtown San Francisco. But that's not happening here. This 40-story apartment building on Mission Street, known simply as 1550, opened in 2020. It was the first to comply with a 2016 law requiring large new buildings to have a water reuse system. Aaron Tartakovsky, founder of a company called Epic Clean Tech, says after two years of testing, his system has become a model for what's possible in water conservation. By reusing 7,500 gallons per day, or up to two and a half million gallons a year, that is two and a half million gallons less of fresh drinking water they have to bring into this building. Water from sinks, showers, and laundry rooms is carried in a separate pipe system to a 10,000 gallon holding tank in the basement. From there, the water is piped to the filter room, where it first sits in an aeration tank to let microbes digest organic matter. Then that water is pushed under pressure through permeable membranes, where it is finally disinfected with bleach and UV light. When it's finished, the ultra-cleaned water is sent back up into the building to flush toilets and urinals. So the water that's going to be entering into people's toilets are used for flush urinals. You would never know the difference. Water from toilets is also collected, and after filtering, the, well, solids are sent to a facility across the street where a composting system turns it into a sweet-smelling fertilizer for the courtyard garden. They're even experimenting with capturing energy from warm wastewater. It's an entirely new way of thinking about what we've been sending down the drain. Buildings bring water in and they send water out. We call that wastewater. And so what we're showing here is that the waste in wastewater is not really waste at all. That you know we can turn wastewater into clean water, into soil, into energy, into all these amazing things that we just typically don't think of. It's happening now at 1550, but that trickle will soon become a flood as builders include treatment and recycling systems to meet changing laws and changing attitudes. The reuse revolution has begun. In San Francisco, John Ramos, KPIX 5. So here are some percentages behind me. Scientists projected that the state could lose 10% of its water by the year 2040. So in response, Governor Newsom called in the state to increase water recycling by 60% by that year of 2040.